In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make these earrings. They're made using beautiful um, 3mm round faceted um, aquamarine and morganite which are both in the kit. Um, they also use a, a 0.8 and a 0.4 sterling silver wire. Um, the kit also includes um, a sterling silver findings pack so you've got everything you need to make this kit and the other pieces um, that I've made. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to move this out of the way and show you the tools that you're going to need. Okay, so um, to make these earrings, I used um, flat, some form of flat nose plier, a cutting tool, so you've got some snips there. I've got some bail making pliers and some round nose pliers. Either or of those will do, preferably the bail making pliers because we've got the different sizes. Okay. I'm just going to move everything out of the way and we're going to get started. We're going to start off by using two lengths of the sterling silver wire, the 0.8. Now these are approximately um, five centimetres long. Okay, So pre-cut them so you know that they're the same size. Bring them together so you've got both of them together. Using the bell making pliers, we're going to pop them into the smallest... Um, mandrel on the bow making pliers and together and we're simply going to roll them around until they touch on that side so we've got that that sort of P shape there. I'm going to turn that round again keeping everything together and the loop that we're going to create on this side needs to go in the same direction so again we're just going to bring that round till it touches and you've got that P there okay so I'm going to drop those down so now we've got two sections and they're both the same size so we know that that our finding is going to be the same size okay I'm going to work on one of them and then we're going to bring in the bow making pliers again I'm going to pop that loop just at the edge there and now we're going to use the largest of the bow making pli um, pliers and we're going to bring those round and I'm just going to push that down and I'm going to turn that around so that I can push that one down. So we're going to bring them together really quite tightly. And you can see you've got that, um, that find in there. Okay, I'm just going to do that again with this one. I'm going to pop that in, same position. Try and bring it all the way around. Bring that one around as well. Whoops, just be careful, you don't want to push it out of shape too much. Make sure it's all the way around. And we've got that one. So you see there, we've got two, although that one is a little bit out of shape there. So I'm going to pull that around a little bit. That's better. I'm going to squeeze those in. And these will get tied and wrapped later, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now we've got our two findings. I'm going to take that one out of the way and we'll use this one. So you can see with that open at this position here, so they are going to get tied together later. Now when we come to put the earring together, um, we're going to use a head pin. And now the head pin is going to be the detail and the thing that holds the two sections together. So I don't know whether you can see just there, there's the ball head pin section there. You see it's on the top, the front, and that helps to give the piece a little bit of movement. So we need this, this loop here to be small enough to stop the head pin going through. So I'm going to try that and that's going to go straight through. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to close up this, um, this loop here. So I'm going to open those slightly just so that I'm working on one at a time. Because you don't want to be squeezing them both at the same time. And I'm going to just snip off, just slightly take a little bit of that off. And I'm going to close that around. Okay, so then I'm going to pop that head pin in and that sits nicely there. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm just going to take off a fraction and then I'm going to close that, trying to keep that round shape. We don't want it to go out of shape too much. And I'll try it from that side, see if that goes through. So we know that's a nice fit as well. I could close that up slightly more. There. 
so we know that's a nice fit either side will work perfectly okay so now all I'm going to do is just shape those up again and what we can do is just fold them over so they're nice and shaped there so we know we've got our, our nice shape for the earring we've got our eye there that the head pin will sit in so now we're good to to start adding gemstones okay so to do this we're going to use um, a length of 0.4 uh, now this is great to use up your scraps of 0.4 so if you've been um, channel setting or you've been wire wrapping and you've got um, short lengths of 0.4 left over just keep them for projects like this okay so now we're going to take the 0.4 and pop it through the small um, loop at the top and just matter about how long this tail is because we can use that um, at some point in the design okay so I'm going to wrap around I'm going to go through the loop and we're going to come back through that small um, two loops at the top and what we're looking at doing is just wrapping those together so we've got a couple of um, wraps on there okay so now that is going to hold those two together and then we're going to wrap around once around the frame so I'm coming around the frame and back through back through there okay and now we're back on the top and now we're ready to add gemstones with this length okay I'm going to turn it over now and just work on this length here so we're going to pop that through and again wrap around the frame on the other side so that will help secure everything okay so now we've got this wire here which will uh, work with well we can actually we can use that now just to make sure that we we get that um, finished off and it and it's out of the way okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, one gemstone <coughs> excuse me pop my finger over the top just to hold everything in place and the wire in place and I'm going to pull that and that's the gemstone secured there now if I've got enough wire left which I have um, we can add in another one so I'm going to pop in another one They're really 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 sparkly um, there we go right so if I add in another one just at that point and again we'll wrap around now this is getting quite short so this will be the last time we use this um, so I'm going to wrap it around I'm going to bring it round push it down to the back just there and then we're going to snip that off so that's gone you see there's just a little little tail left on there I'm going to use some round nose pliers and we're going to just carry that around just sweep that around so that it disappears into that so you've got no sharp edges on the back okay so now we've got our original wire on the top here so again we can add on a gemstone so we've got our oh, third gemstone just sort of at that point there so again wrap around and now what you can start to do you can start to come across the back because that will start to fill fill up the design and then across the top and we'll add in one more and then I'll, I'll continue and show you how we we go about finishing off the design so we pop that last one in there and wrap it around and obviously with the excess wire that you've got here you just continue to do that until you've got um, something along those sort of lines you see it's got um, and obviously try and keep the amount of gemstones that you've got the same in both both earrings but then once I've added the gemstones in I've just wrapped across a few times just to add a bit more detail okay so you continue doing that but for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that off as if we had finished and again once you've finished you do exactly the same thing cut it off and just pop that into into your framework there 
So imagine that one's completed and we've got all our gemstones on there. Okay, so the next step is to add our um, head pin, sorry, uh, ball head pin. So that fits in there. We know it fits because we tried it earlier. So we're going to hold that in place and I'm going to take the end of the head pin and I'm going to bring that forward. So now what that will do, that will secure that um, finding we've just made, but it'll give a bit of movement as well. Okay. So then we're going to bring in some more gemstones and I just use them sort of randomly. Um, but you could do them in, in a pattern. You could put the aquamarine and the morganite or you could just use one or the other. So I'm just quickly going to pop on five because that's a nice, nice figure and a nice length for the earrings, I think. There we go. So now I've popped on five of the gemstones and we're going to hold them in place just there and I'm going to kink that wire out. OK, now I know this is a little bit too much here. so I'm going to cut that down, but I'm going to leave quite a lot. Um, I don't I, I don't want to do a wrap loop. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a rolled loop. So I'm going to pop in my bow making pliers at this point. And I'm going to roll that over as we did earlier, but instead of it stopping where it meets, we're going to continue that round. So it bypasses bypasses that and carries on. OK, so we're going to roll that. Keep rolling. Until it's there. So you've got a nice wrap loop. So that means we haven't got any wraps in here. We go straight from the gemstone straight to a round loop. OK. So that's our um, finding made there. So all we need to do now is bring in our shepherd hook, sterling silver shepherd hook from the kit. And then we're going to pop on our finding that we've just made. Close up the shepherd hook and that's your, um, that's your earring. So I hope you enjoyed um, the tutorial. Um, take care everyone.